All right. Well, today is Saturday. I do not know what the date is. I think it's the 16th of March. And so these are the Dollar Tree towers. So today I'm going to show you how I am making, putting them together and uh, making them a self-watering uh, tower, similar to the one I have up on the porch, the garden tower. So each one comes, that's it upside down. You get these at the Dollar Tree and each one of them comes, that's what it looks like upside right and I've already got it kind of set up. This is fully done. I'm going to show you how to get it to that situation. So, with that being said, this is the one that's partially set up that I'm going to complete while you watch. So I got all this set up. I'm going to show you how to poke the holes in the lid, poke the holes in the bottom for the bottom waterer, um, because the bottom waterer here has a flat lid with no... Um, holes in it so that way it waters this bottom tier and when this bottom tier has all the soil watered it will start leaking out the drainage holes on the bottom so to start with you get one of these at the dollar store at the dollar tree which I've got a bunch of them I got 10 all together so we use these last year on the bottom there are each one of these I already put the holes in them they have little X's, so I just used a screwdriver. I got a pokey thing to poke other holes, but I used just a Phillips head screwdriver, pushed those holes through. Now, there are holes on the bottom here, and it'll tell you that perforation says punch out the X's for drainage. And apparently it's made in China, so that's nice. So these, these three holes, also had X's, but they were not as perforated as these. So I took, I got this little screwdriver set and it's got a pointy end. So I heated it up with a lighter and I just pointed, pulled it, poked it through there. And then later on, because I wasn't happy with that, I took a very small drill bit and I drilled them out. Now this one, you can see, I kind of jabbed it and drilled it too. But you see this little perforation here? See that little circle? Yep, there you go. That's what we're going to drill out today. I'm going to drill this out with this handy dandy tool. And then I'm going to take a water bottle. I already took the seal off of this and I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to take this water bottle and put it inside there. Not this way but this way so it's inside this one doesn't have a lid so I can put show you poking the holes but there you go this is it with all of its holes and I've already shoved the water bottle in there up to the neck which I don't know if it's gonna focus because there's a lot of dirt there you go and the reason I have it on this thing is because at the bottom you can see there's the lid poking out the bottom and so if you just sit it on a flat surface it's going to be wobbly like this you see because the water bottle sticks out further than the feet so that was a complication i've decided i'm going to use this guy for now I think that that, once I get all the soil in here, it might be too heavy or still not stable because it's not latched on here, nothing. It's literally just sitting on here. So what I've decided to do is I've got a couple of uh, old milk crates, which I don't have one out here right now, but a square milk crate that's plastic. I've decided I'm going to flip one of those over because it's got little square holes in it and I can stick this lid in the center of that and these towers will sit even and more sturdy than that little bitty rack. So that's what I'm going to do this year and I'll show you that in the future. So let's get started. 
let me walk you through a couple of the things you're going to need. Um, one is a Phillips head screwdriver or something with a sharp edge to poke the holes out. I've got this little guy. This works good. Um, and that's, I'm going to use that for the water bottles that my neighbor donated to me. Um, I used a pair of scissors to cut the water bottles. And then um, I drilled out the holes with a drill bit later for the bottom like I just showed you um, on that one that's upside down. I have a drill bit uh, on these battery operated guys. He does really good. Oh, by the way, when you're cutting plastic, almost all the time you want it to be going. I can show you. Push reverse so that it's going away from the teeth not against the teeth with this one um well with the other bucket buckets i've done i've always done it that way with this um ben has showed me how it's a little bit easier if that's why i got this handy dandy guy and it goes forward and backwards which is really convenient and that's what we're going to do on this uh tower on the bottom of that. I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to do that in front of you in two seconds. So I got one of those little drill bit guys. I also, like I said, had the neighbor donate some water bottles. So if I can find the full water bottle, um, it's, it's in here. Let's see. Okay, so one of these water bottles, I just took the little label off, so it's kind of sticky. doesn't really matter. It's going to be inside, and the dirt's going to touch it, so it'll just stop being sticky with the dirt. It doesn't have enough glue on it that it's really going to leak into the soil. And uh, what I did was I measured it according to the green tower, or tier, each tier. And so I counted the top rivets. Turn it upside down, and I counted, I think, five rings from here. So one, two, three, four, five, right there. And at the tip of my finger, that's where I cut it with scissors, all the way around, so that it's half this size. Which then gives you this handy-dandy guy. And then what I did was I decided, well, when I'm watering, it has to have holes in it, you can see them there, to go into the soil. This is what we're doing. We're making the center of it water the soil. So you don't have to worry about it being unevenly watered. Um, on all of the tiers, except for the very bottom one, I'm going to show you that too, because I have one down there i got to poke some holes in. And it's not the easiest thing, but it works. And please remember to be careful and don't jab your fingers because I did and it didn't tickle. <laughs> so anyways, you got the five rings there and then I just took, oh, I don't know, probably about two inches up and pushed one hole, made them even because that's my OCD. So I did four holes on the bottom, two straight across from each other, then two straight across from each other. To make sure that it got evenly watered then I went up to the second ring here and I poked another hole straight across so there's four evenly and then to make sure it was even in the in the tier I staggered the holes that I poked kept them separated a little bit and staggered them so that the hole tier would be watered um, and I poked holes in the bottom of four out of five of these because I have five tiers per tower right now I mean you can do more you can set it on the ground um, like I said you're going to want to be careful because once you put this on the bottom one it's going to be a little wobbly so we're going to put them on milk crates and I prefer to have it five tiers high that way it's sturdy. If we have a windstorm, which that is common around here, 
then it won't blow over. I don't have a mess. I don't lose my crops. And I don't have dirt everywhere. Because nobody wants all that mess. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go down here. And I'll show you how I drilled the hole. And then I'll show you how I'm going to poke the holes in the bottom of the five tier. I'll, I'll poke some more holes in the bottom so it waters the bottom tier. And I will leave a flat, an empty or a, a regular lid on the bottom tier so the water doesn't drain out and the bottom tier doesn't get watered. Because that's a very common thing with your towers. Also, you want to make sure that your tower is as level as possible. And I've mentioned that in, in other videos. It's a Saturday, so everybody's home. Everybody's home. And um, <laughs> so you know how that is. You live in a trailer park. People are living, having a good time. It's the weekend. They're off. But anyways, the bottom tier, I'm going to leave this one with no holes in it. Um, and I'm going to poke a couple extra holes in the bottom bottle. But all the other bottles, or all the other tiers, already have the holes like this. And I did all this ahead of time, so you didn't have to watch me do this repetitively. It is a little time consuming. and But, you know, it's worth it. So anyways, we'll show you how to do that. Um... Just to show you real quick for the lids, I don't know if I can manage this. I'll do the lids after I get the tear drilled. So we're going to set you over here on this handy dandy pot <laughs> so you can watch me drill the hole. Alrighty, so there you're situated. Now the sun's going to come out and I'm going to have to take off my sweater. But here we go. We're going to... So I have to get down here a little bit further so I, you can see. Uh, I have the holes. And I'm going to take this part and put it in here. And then drill the outer side. Hopefully you can see this. First we go backwards. pressure on it because you don't want to crack this plastic. I got a couple of them that way. It didn't work out so good. So you got to really be careful so you don't crack it. Alright. And there it's done. Now we have a hole. I'll take this off here. In the bottom. So that part's done. Now let me rearrange you. Okay. Now we're going to take this handy dandy bottle. And uh, I take the lid off of it. And I'm going to jab it in this hole. So that it comes out the other end. And here's how it's going to look. So there it is inside, there you can see, and I put it all the way up to the neck, right here. So this whole part will pop out all the way to the neck, so it's nice and tight and flush, and that way it doesn't leak, okay? And since this one's already done, as you can see, I'm going to show you how to poke the extra holes in the bottom real quick for the bottom uh, tier because the bottom tier is going to have a flat lid and this one is one of the other tiers and I'll show you how to poke the holes in the lid for all the other tiers in your tower. So first we're going to poke holes in this. Let me make sure that you can see because that's uh, definitely something that I want you to see all right so like I said we're gonna put a couple of extra holes in the bottom here 
so that the bottom tier drains properly. So, this little guy is extremely sharp and it works good in these plastics. And you're going to hear a lot of crinkling, it's okay. I just keep your hands, your fingers out of the way. I poke the holes in between my fingers. And um, we're going to do, I think I said eight. Yeah, so we're going to do eight holes. So right between these two, you see here's the last hole on the bottom of the ring here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it down. Um, you can see the size difference. I'm going to do that here and then a little bit further down here. So I'm going to add two more rows of holes. Only for the bottom tier. So we'll poke a hole here. And then what I do is I line it up so that it's, like I said, OCD kicks in. And then that's even up straight across. You see this? I hope you can see this. It's hard when you've got to film by yourself. And I don't have any camera guys today. Okay, so we got two straight across. So now we're going to do the same in between, even. And I think I did one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so right in between here, I'm going to do it right about there, looks about even. So, poke a hole there, you can see it's across, and then we're just going to push it this way here to start a hole, maybe, there we go, and then come over here to where I got the pre-started hole. And I hope you guys can see this. And poke the hole. Now we're going to do one more set of holes down here towards the bottom. And I'm going to try and get them in between these holes. So that they're staggered holes. See, like all the rest of them. So that way the entire tower is getting watered all the way around it. So we'll do in between these, I'll do about here. And these ones are a little bit harder because it's a thick it thickens, the plastic gets thicker. And I'll stagger them in between here. So about here. I poke this thing all the way through so I got decent sized holes just in case the dirt clogs them or anything else. So we'll do another one here and then I'll do one right about here. And this one's on a seam so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But we'll get it. All right. If it's on a seam, what I do is I just kind of move it from side to side to make sure that the hole is actually made and holds its form. All right. So that's that. And since this one is the bottom one, and that's why we added those eight bottom holes, extra holes, we're going to leave this one. <clears throat> and since this is the bottom tier, we're going to go ahead... Yeah, this is the bottom tier, the bottom tier of the second grow tower. So, I'm going to show you how we jam it in there. And I hold it to the side. And I just kind of shove it in there. Hopefully you can see this. And once you get these in here, you're not going to want to take them out. Because it's a pain in the butt and it is a little difficult. So, I put my hand in there and just push it through, straighten it out so that the bottle's not wrinkled, and you can see, now it's all the way up to the neck, double check, yeah, it's flush on the inside, and then we put the lid on. 
And this one will be the bottom of the second tower, grow garden tower. Okay, so for the other tiers, we have to put some holes in the bottom so that the water comes and runs down into each tier. So take your little pokey guy and I'm going to do four holes pretty much in a T. So I just kind of poke it here. I don't know if you guys can see this. I hope you can. I'm just poking four holes just like that. And now we have four holes. Those are our drainage holes. And then for all, because this is a five tier tower that I'm making. So the four top tiers are going to have the holes in the bottom of the lid. Screw it on, make sure it's even. You can see how nice and snug it is. It's all in there. And then the fifth tier, which is the bottom tier, will not have holes. So it'll go like this, except for it's not sitting even, so it's a little bit difficult. So it'll sit like this. You can see inside there's the bottle. I'm going to come and get you real quick and show you the focus so that you can see each tier. You can see down in there maybe. No, not really. There you go. Each tier, the, the head of the bottle goes into the next one. So it'll go from there and I'll show you how to do the top um, here in a little bit. But here we go. You got one water's in the center with the holes in it. I don't know if you can see the holes in the lid. And then down here, the lid, which the sun's going to show you bad. There you go. The lid is down into the next bottle. And it goes down, down, down. And then the bottom one has no holes in the bottle in the lid so then it'll stop there fill up all of this tier and that's how you know that the whole thing has been watered properly now I have this little guy that I made because there was still quite a bit of the bottle left and I'll show you that so this is the bottom of the rest of the bottle now we don't need all of this and this is not going to fit comfortably 